little da, 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 da. it was like da, 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 da. Hi Dance Magazine readers, welcome back to Dance Magazine's YouTube channel. My name is Haley Hilton and this is the Begin Again vlog where I am chronicling my return to the dance industry after nine years off with a chronic health condition. Today we are talking about what to wear to auditions. Every time I have an audition come up I'm stoked, I get prepared, and then I have this sneaky feeling in the back of my head that's like oh no 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 what are you gonna wear? <laughs> And it seems so small, but it also feels important. You know, you don't want to show up at an audition and be just like totally out of line, not fitting what they were looking for. You also don't want to like totally blend in with everyone else so that you like can't really stand out in this sea of matching. And it's hard to know exactly what to do. And so far what I've done is I've just like gone to friends and been like, do you think this outfit works? Do you think it's good? And I haven't had any major problems. But I thought talking to an expert could alleviate some stress for me and hopefully some stress for you to kind of go in having an idea like, okay, you can feel pretty good about the choice you've made to wear this audition. You don't have to stress about it. You can go in and worry about the work that you're actually doing. So I spoke to an expert as always. I spoke with casting director Jason Styers, who work includes A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, Nice Work If You Can Get It, The Lion King. So you think you can dance like this huge list a mile long of things that he's cast and I asked him some of these questions about what to wear. The most important thing that Jason says to do is to read the instructions which sounds so simple but I think it's a good reminder to go through everything that you get sent with a fine tooth comb to make sure there's nothing you're missing. He says you know he regularly gets emails from people being like what should I wear you know are there expectations for what we should wear and he says that he'll go back and copy and paste what was already sent to them saying wear this thing. So First and foremost, make sure you're checking that out. But then if they didn't, shoot them an email. He says it's not an unreasonable question to ask and if it will take away some stress from this situation, absolutely worth doing it. So for auditions that I found listed on Playbill or like ECCs or things like that where they're not as specific, um, Jason says it's a totally different thing altogether and, and he didn't have too much direction on what to do there. Um, but it sounds like first and foremost go to like the experts that you know. So I think going to an agent would make sense being like, hey, do you have, you know, if you're really like have no idea, reach out to your agent and say like, hey, did they say, you know, I'm going to this audition. Have you heard anything? they say anything whatever um, and then also reaching out to friends he said you know people's first instinct is to reach out to friends and that he says you should go to experts first but it's not a bad idea to send a picture to a friend be like what do you think there was a piece written in dance spirit by Helen Hope in 2019 that gives advice for auditions and it goes through like a range of audition settings you might be in you know musical theater commercial classical whatever and one of the pro tips that I really liked is, you know, if you're just arriving in New York or you're just arriving to like the audition grind and you're unsure, she said, go to Ripley Greer or Pearl Studios one afternoon and just kind of hang out and look around and see what are people wearing? What's like the vibe of auditions these days? Cause it's always, you know, it's gonna adjust a little bit as styles change. Um, so that's a good way to see what audition attire is. And I think also class is a good way to see that too. And then I think if you have friends who have been in the shows, who have auditioned before, reach out to them, say like, hey, what did you wear to your audition? Send them a picture of what you're planning. Like, what do you think? Does this work? Get that vibe. Jason says like to not go with friends first and foremost, start with the experts, but outside of when it's appropriate to reach out to an expert, friends, totally a great idea. When it comes to dressing like the role you're auditioning for, he says it's kind of weird, don't do that, but hint at the vibe, the energy, the essence without being like in green paint for Alphabet, you know? So you want to come in what you feel comfortable in, which I think is important, but if there are specific directions, he says follow those directions. You know, there are times when it's appropriate to push back, but when there are things that are small and they've expressly said that they want it, just do it. For this audition, just do it. And um, he says kind of similar, like you don't go into a no shoes house wearing shoes, you know, take the direction. If not, they'll kind of see it as a red flag. Taking that advice, I'm gonna kind of imagine like if I were to be called in for this audition and you know, I didn't have specific, this is what you should wear, but I'm gonna match the energy, the essence, the vibe of it, what I would do. I'm gonna show you. So here we go. Okay, so this is my outfit's choice for Chicago. I have this kind of lacy top. I have these black briefs, black tights, my Leduc 
Tika shoes on. That's what I would do for Chicago. I added this little bow. I added this little bow in the back because I felt like it's a little different. You know, again, we're not costume designers. We're not trying to stand out. Maybe there's a couple of blondes that look like me and they'll be like, oh yeah, the one with the black bow. Maybe not, but that's my Chicago one. Oh, and um, you, like you don't want to go crazy with earrings, but I thought just like a nice little fake diamond would do the job. So yeah, on to the next outfit. All right, next up is for Mean Girls. I obviously have a pink lip and a pink top on. Uh, you know, on Wednesdays we wear pink. It might be a little on the nose, but I feel really confident in this top and this outfit. So I think it's a, I think it's a go. Okay, so. This super cute pink top, it's got like kind of this angled neckline with these little strappies, which I think is really cute. And then black leggings, honestly, like I'm gonna feel my most confident in black leggings always, so I love that. And then I remember on, I've done this audition before, I've submitted for it, and they didn't list like specific shoes to wear, um, but I noticed that the person in the video was wearing tennis shoes, and so I did the same. So I got these white tennis shoes. Um, I think that maybe like a jazz shoe could maybe also work or obviously if they say Laduka's, Laduka's are like fierce with black leggings. Um, but yeah, that's my Mean Girls audition. Next up, Frozen. So I've never done this audition before. I've never submitted for it. I've never like even seen a listing on Playbill for it. I must have missed it because um, I know that there have been auditions. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what they're looking for, but I know Frozen. So I'm gonna go with Blue. I reached out to a friend who has done a lot of Frozen auditions. They really like her to see what she's thinking. Um, and I'm gonna send this outfit idea to her and see what she thinks. If she's like, nah, try something different, then I'll change it. But on my first pass, this is what I'm thinking. So blue top, Frozen's blue. I also feel my most confident and beautiful in blue, so I love any chance to wear this. My trusty leggings. I have no idea what they would be looking for for shoes, but you know, maybe tennis shoes are a good idea. Or I love a chance to wear my nude Laducas. I think they're really pretty and flattering. Obviously my Laduca boots, or I love any chance I have to do just, you know, a good, a good barefoot moment. So yeah, that's me and Frozen. On to the next. Next up, Wicked. It would literally be my dream of all dreams to book Wicked. Look at these cute little emerald earrings for the Emerald City. Nothing too crazy. I've got this green top. Again, it might be a little too on the nose, so I would probably go to the audition with a second option. If I get there and I'm like, oh my gosh, literally everyone's in green, quick change. If nobody's in green, maybe keep it. I don't know, you'd see how I fit in with everybody else. So I've got on the screen top these black leggings and then I'm actually pretty sure, I put on these Laducas because I'm just used to it, but I'm actually pretty sure I've done, I went to the ECC and I actually think they might have told us to wear jazz shoes, uh, in which case I have jazz shoes and I would throw those on. I don't, they're put away somewhere, but. Yeah, I think it's the main thing about shoe wear is I literally, when I go to an audition, it could be like a musical theater audition that has nothing to do with point shoes and I will have my point shoes there because I feel like you just never know. I would bring everything with me that I own. Laduka's jazz shoes, kind of shoes, whatever. Anyway, this is Wake Next up, hairspray. I actually did this audition earlier this summer and it was so fun, literally the time of my life. And I went pretty far, I actually made it to the final round of callbacks and then I haven't heard back. But it was literally a blast. Jason said, you know, if it's of a certain time period, you don't want to dress in costume, but you want to get the vibe. So that's why I went with a French twist. Okay, so I wore a dress because I felt like 60s vibe, a dress would be like just a fun way to show them what I might look like in the costume without being like, this is a costume, right? This is just like a collage dress that I love. And then for shoes, they said tennis shoes, so I wore these white tennis shoes. I actually wore a tennis shoe that's a little less chunky than these at the audition, and it was better. I could dance a little more comfortably, uh, but I think a Hoka is good too. So yeah. This is what I wear, what I did wear, what I would wear for hairspray. I'm just a little. It was like. I love it. Oh, 
The next thing is the more concerty realm of things, like contemporary ballet, something like complexions or lines. Hubbard Street, something like that, this is what I would probably wear for that audition. I would want to do something that shows my lines. I've heard a lot of people say before, like, don't wear black to an audition, which I think is fair. But honestly, if nobody's wearing black, like, maybe you will stand out, and this is a really great line. Um, so I like this top with, like, some tight shorts, and then obviously some nude ballet shoes, some skin-toned ballet shoes that match my skin tone. I would probably do a French twist again, just because I think it's a really classic line for stuff like this. I would probably do the same for ballet. Maybe a bun, but it's not, like, the most flattering for me, I don't think. I've done, obviously done the complexions audition before, and Desmond and Dwight are very specific about how they just they don't like any garbage on. They don't want skirts, they don't want pants, they don't want anything. They just want to be able to see your lines, which is fair, which is fine. Um, if someone did allow a skirt, I would love, like I would probably, for certain auditions, go in with my skirt in my bag, and if, you know, it seems like I've done research and it seems like the casting directors and the directors don't care, then I would maybe do it just because I feel my best. But like Jason said, like you don't wear shoes in someone else's house. So I would never do that for complexions. But maybe somewhere else I would have it available to me. So this is what that skirt would look like with this black Leo. But um, whew, I'm getting hot and sweaty doing all these quick changes. Uh, okay, the next is if I were auditioning for the ensemble of the Radio City Christmas Spectacular, obviously I can't audition to be a ref cut because I'm five foot two, a girl can dream, but the ensemble, my gosh, wouldn't that be fun? So this is what I would wear. I've gone to this ensemble audition before a long time ago, a long time, I've only been back in the industry for not that long, but a while ago, I went to their ensemble audition and I noticed that most of the dancers were dressed like the Rockettes would dress. Um, you know, sleek, clean lines, all that jazz. So, this is what I would wear if I were auditioning for the Radio City Christmas Spectacular. I really like this neckline. I think it's really flattering and pretty. And then um, I noticed most people, I, like you can look at the videos too. I feel like that's my thing on the Rockettes. They're really um, active on social media. And so I looked up the auditions and there's like a link, there is a video of the ensemble audition specifically. And I just looked what's the majority of people wearing. And the majority are in Leo with black tights and black boots or tan boots sometimes. But I think this one looks best with a black boot. So yeah, that's cool. Keep my wall. That is my Radio City audition outfit. Last but not least, a classical ballet audition. I have not done one of these in a really long time, if ever. Um, I've done like one-off gig, like go and take company class kind of things. But if you know, I were going to one. This is what I would wear. So, obviously, uh, for a classical ballet audition, I'm gonna wear a leotard, I'm gonna wear pink tights, and whoa, I'm gonna wear a leotard, I'm gonna wear pink tights, and then I'm gonna wear my point shoes. Uh, I threw on the skirt because given the chance, given the choice, I will always choose a skirt. But if I get there and it looks like nobody else is in a skirt or they expressly say not to, I will not wear a skirt. I will put on, you know, a little, the little tidies and uh yeah so that's that's what i wrote about audition so yeah that's the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really had a blast making it and i feel like i learned a lot i'm really stoked to get my next appointment so i can go and read through closely and then ask questions if i need to fit the vibe of the audition and uh, have a blast so yeah Come back next time to see what I'm up to and I hope you're all doing great and fabulous. Thanks for watching. Mwah.